What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here and this is a video I've been wanting to bring out for a while now and since I'm back uh, I figure I'd make this video right now and uh, share my thoughts on what the Advanced Warfare Multiplayer reveal, the goods of the Advanced Warfare Multiplayer reveal. So before we get started, this is just some Black Ops 2 gameplay with using the MSMC on the Map Express, so I hope you will all enjoy this gameplay. I uh, get lots of kills, obviously, it's a good thing. And uh, in this video, I want to discuss, um, you know, Advanced Warfare thoughts. Uh, not all of the thoughts because there will be a video later on. I'm not exactly sure when that's going to be out on my channel, but if you are watching this video late, um, it will be already up, so you will be able to see it in the playlist at the end of the video and in the description of the Advanced Warfare multiplayer info playlist and stuff like that. But I want to get into talking about my favorite things, the good things that I think came out of the Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal. And let's start off with the first thing being that the supposed game mode for the third game mode is going to be zo or supposedly zombies. We don't know exactly on what exactly it's going to be, but you know, I thought I would add this in as the good thing because zombies, it was a really good and fun game mode back in Black Ops 2 and uh, Black Ops 1 and obviously World at War, the Treyarch game modes, or I mean the uh, Treyarch games, sorry. And, uh, you know, I think that zombies would be a really good enhancement into Advanced Warfare. I think they can uh, make it work. Obviously, we have no idea what that is, but hopefully it can be zombies. So that's one thing that I heard because of uh, the uh, scratch marks on the controller. You know, it doesn't really say a whole lot, but it could, it, I mean, it only comes from zombies. But anyway, moving on. The next thing that I think is good about the Advanced Warfare multiplayer side of things is that the Pick 10 system is coming back into a Pick 13 system. So now score streaks are part of the uh, class setup. So it's like, okay, you have 10 points for your class and you could have 3 points to pick your score streaks or maybe you only want 2 score streaks so you have 11 points. It works out really nice. I think that it's a nice enhancement of the Black Ops 2 way. You know, some people prefer to just have the score streaks out of the class and like it was in Black Ops 2, but I actually prefer it like this. I like to how Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghosts actually went about with implementing the uh, the score streaks or the kill streaks or the point streaks into the class so you could have different classes set up for different play styles and different maps so if you wanted to change during the match you can do that and this is going to allow you to do that so you could have different score streak setups. The next thing that I, uh, that I saw from this reveal and that I really like is that score streaks themselves are coming back? So we just just said that score streaks were coming back, but yeah. So score streaks are basically what they came up with in Black Ops 2. So you need score. So like every assist counts towards your score. Every tag you pick up and kill confirmed counts towards your score. Every flag you capture counts towards your score, and it all builds up to this giant score. And Advanced Warfare is basically taking that back from Black Ops 2, which is a really really good system. At the beginning of Black Ops 2, and even during kind of Black Ops 2, I didn't really think that it was that great. I actually did prefer for the point system at that time but now going back and playing black ops 2 and uh then call of duty ghosts after ghosts came out uh, I see that the point streak system isn't as good as the score streak system, and I really do like this system. It makes people play objectives harder. Uh, in TDM and free for all, though, I think that it should just be the point streak system. To be honest, um, you know, it's, I don't know because there's no really score to get, but that's not even part of this video. But anyway, the score streak system are coming back. And uh, so a lot of this thing, this stuff looks like it's coming back from Black Ops 2, and Black Ops 2 wasn't a bad Call of Duty. I mean, sure, it had lots and lots of flaws like the snipers and the shotguns and with the game mechanics themselves, but Black Ops 2, if it didn't have that, would have been a really good Call of Duty game, and it's a really fun game to play, uh, you know, after it's, uh, you know, after it's time anyways. But, um, so basically... Um, you can upgrade these score streaks too. That's another thing that I really liked about these score streaks. So, you know, you get to put them in your class setup. If you want to run around uh, with like a different gun or whatever, you you know, like I said before, you could change it during the match. So you have these score streaks. But the next part about these score streaks are not only the fact that they are part of the class and score that the main fact of score streaks returning. Uh, we actually can see upgrades. So, like, let's take the UAV, for example. I'll only explain one example. So, let's say you get a UAV. The UAV is, let's just say, 300 points. I'm just making up a number because I don't have any exact information in hand right now. But, uh, so, like, you get the UAV at 300 points. But let's say you want it to swipe faster or something like that. I don't know the exact upgrades. I know that they had the exact upgrades. I just don't know them offhand. So, let's say you wanted it to swipe faster or something like that. And that would cost you an extra 100 points to earn that UAV. But it's 
swipes faster or maybe it'll stay longer in the air or something like that so you could actually have upgrades to your score streaks but they cost more to get them so it would cost like 100 points or 200 depending on what the upgrade is for the score streak it's really uh, helpful I think that's a really good thing but I think that for my UAV I'm just gonna run my UAV with just a standard UAV just because uh, you know it's not like one of the highest streaks to get and I want to be able to get streaks anyways at least for when advanced warfare just right comes out so that's that on the score streak system and the next thing that I really enjoyed about Advanced Warfare Multiplayer is the perk system, like the perk system layout. Uh, some of the perks I'm not fond of, but uh, that'll be for the uh, next uh, video, like I said before, the bad side of things. But uh, the perk system, as far as the layout goes, I really do enjoy this uh, layout of the perk system. So in Black Ops 2, the, I do have to say, the perk system in Black Ops 2 was awful. Like, they had perks that weren't even useful in with a one great perk, and everyone would just use that. As you know from my stupid perks video, the Holy Trinity, that's basically lightweight, toughness, dexterity. Those are the three overpower perks in Black Ops 2 because there's nothing else that you should really use. The I mean, I use Flak Jacket because I prefer that over lightweight. But other than that, it's toughness and dexterity most of the time unless I'm running Engineer for a different kind of class setup. And uh, that's kind of stupid. But in Advanced Warfare, they actually split up the perks. Toughness is now in the third tier. Uh, just the perk layout itself, I really do enjoy. Uh, way better than Black Ops 2. And one of the next things about Advanced Warfare, which I'm really, really excited, and a lot of the fans are excited, and they uh, share their thoughts about this too, is that they really expressed that they wanted older game modes to return. Now, uh, they are making Hardpoint return, which is good. And uh, one thing that I'm not really fond of is the uh, round-based domination, but that'll be for the other video. But they are having a bunch of the game modes back. Um, Kill Confirmed is making a return. Uh, obviously, I think that that would have made a return anyway, without a doubt, by itself. But uh, we got Hard Point from Black Ops 2. If you don't know what that is, or, I mean, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people know what it is, because uh, Black Ops 2 isn't that late of a Call of Duty. Or early, I mean to say. Like, it's not like an early, early Call of Duty. Uh, I'm going to make a Hard Point video showing you what exactly Hard Point is anyway, so stay on the lookout for that one as well. But uh, then after Hard Point, we've got a game mode called Momentum, which is basically like World, World at War's War game mode. And I do have some gameplay, surprisingly, on this channel of World at War's War game mode. Uh, you could find that, um, I believe it's one of the Throwback Thursday episodes. I think that's what it was. Either that or it might even be uh, more World at War War episodes on my channel. So you could check those out. Out if you really want to see what the war game mode is but I'm also going to be making a video about momentum uh, as how it would play out and it's a really really fun game mode war I'm really excited so far we haven't seen any gameplay of that in uh, for advanced warfare so far but uh, from I, I don't know how they're gonna change it too because they're probably gonna change war and especially with these exo ability suits and stuff like that uh, the game mode's gonna be quite changed from how it was back in world at war but I'm really glad that those old game modes are coming back. That's one thing that I like about the Advanced Warfare Multiplayer. And another thing that I really like about the Advanced Warfare Multiplayer, uh, let's say that you're in the middle of a class and uh, you're like creating a class, let's say, and you were setting up a gun and maybe you're using the gun for the first time or something like that. Well, you could look at the gun and say, oh, well, I don't know how this works or whatever. Now you could hit a, f a virtual firing button range, a range button, I mean, and uh, go into this virtual kind of firing range where you could test out the gun on uh, targets and enemies and stuff like that. And it actually is really cool. It also passes the time during the lobby because you could do this during the lobby. So while you're waiting for the next match to start, you could test and play around with different guns and stuff like that. Which is a really cool thing because before you'd, you'd just be like sitting in a Call of Duty lobby. And I mean you could still sit there but now you have something that you could actually do. So you're always really playing the game no matter what. I mean unless you just want to sit there, uh, you're, you could have this virtual fire range to yourself. The next thing that I really do like is supply drops. Basically, these are like battle packs from Battlefield. Um, you know, I did play some Battlefield 4. I played some Battlefield 3. I think, yeah, Battlefield 4 had the battle packs. But basically, battle packs or supply drops are going to give you, like, different things as you go along. So, like, let's say you unlock a gun. There's 10 variants of each gun in the game, each main gun. So, if you un just unlock the gun and you earn a supply drop, you could get a different version of that gun from the supply drop that has different kind of stats. Uh, so, it, you know, it could be really uh, handy to your play style. I just think that it's something extra that they added that was fun. I'm not sure what else comes in these supply drops. It may be some sort of, like, care package thing. But, uh, anyway, you get these supply drops just randomly by time played, not by anything like ranking up or anything like that. 
And the next thing that I heard, and this is the final thing that I really did enjoy about the Advanced Warfare multiplayer, is the fact that there is going to be a playlist without the EXO abilities. Uh, I, I, um, I don't really know if I'm a fan or not of Advanced Warfare EXO ability suits and stuff like that, the EXO skeleton suits I mean, but um, I like the fact that they are thinking ahead and saying, okay, maybe if people don't want to play with the EXO suit all the time, there's going to be a playlist without these EXO abilities. So I don't know if that means like the main EXO abilities as well as the EXO abilities like Cloak and uh, all those, or is it like... Uh, you know, is it like disabling those on the class, but you could still double jump and stuff like that? I'm not exactly sure, but at least it's a uh, it's more they said it was more of a traditional style of a playlist where it's a traditional Call of Duty style and I'm really really happy about that that they are thinking ahead and putting that or they're going to put that playlist into Advanced Warfare. So this has been it. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this Advanced Warfare multiplayer reveal video because I did enjoy making it and stay on the lookout for the bads because you know with every goods with all these goods you, you gotta have some bads in with it I mean it's just um you know there I really want to explain the bads right now but I you know I want to wait till another video so I can really get into detail about all the bad things that I don't like about advanced warfare because the I in my opinion I think that the bads so far are overpowering the goods but the game looks fun still so we'll obviously have to see and wait until then if you did enjoy, leave a like rating and comment below on what your favorite things are about Advanced Warfare so far, about this multiplayer, about maybe even about the third game mode and what the speculation could be for the third game mode. Anything that you find interesting, leave a comment below if you will. This is Ninja Geek. I'll see you on whatever my next video happens to be. I'm out. Peace.